Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are building a ginormous target. The great thing about this build is it's interactive, so it's not just a big block of items. I wanted to test myself with this build, which actually ended up taking a lot longer than I expected. This build took me roughly six hours to do, and I'm still not even done with this. I wanted to add a Starbucks to this, so I made like a cute little outside area for it, but because I'm picky and stubborn, I really want to do an actual legit Starbucks add-on, so that won't be shown in this video. I'll probably show you a Starbucks build maybe in the next couple of videos or so. As we get started on today's video, please do hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. As you can see by the entry of this video, I ended up swapping the shop doors just to a nice dark black color. I originally was going to do a light tone for the shop doors in the front like I did my Walmart, but I decided the black just complemented all the red tones really well, so I ended up swapping to those. I'll have both of these designs listed in the description so you can choose whichever one you preferred the best. So fun fact about me, I've actually only been to a Target once in my entire life and that was so long ago, I don't even remember what it looks like. I literally spent hours looking at walkthroughs of Targets and Googling images on trying to figure out how these things look. So if I'm not accurate with placement in the inside of this store, I apologize for that. I tried my best but I thought it was still a really fun build to do. I've been wanting to basically try to recreate as many real life stores as possible. I'm thinking about actually starting a playlist of different builds to manipulate Animal Crossing items on making them look like real life places. So if you want this content to happen, let me know in the comment section below and future stores you hope to see on this playlist. So your main items that you're gonna need for this build are simple panels and display shelves. That's pretty much it for the exterior. If you've been following me for a while, you know I talk about display shelf like so much. I'm in love with this item. It helps bring realism to a lot of builds. It's just a really great item for city core. I can't express this enough. If you're doing a city core island, please do get every single shade of this because it changes modern builds completely. Don't get me wrong, I love my bookshelves still. They're great for certain builds and they're always gonna be a staple because they take half a square. But when you're trying to fill in space on builds like this and you don't want it to be super laggy, go with the display shelf. It is always gonna be the best option as of right now. Anyways, how many of you shop at Target? Maybe you're watching this build because Target's one of your favorite stores. I don't really have any sentimental value for this build because I don't shop there, but um, I know that a lot of people love it. So thank you so much to those who requested a new immersive shopping build and also to the Target request that I got a few days ago. I hope this brings you inspiration. The build, yes, is ginormous. You can totally shrink this build down. It doesn't have to be an interactive build either. So if you want to reduce the lag, reduce the space of this build, you could just lose the interactive part and it won't take up as much space but I have been really digging ginormous builds lately I don't know why I've just been in that mood I've just been really enjoying making builds feel super realistic so again if you can't have this much space on your island uh, you can definitely reduce this even shrink the parking lot definitely make much needed adjustments to this build for your island and because I know I'm gonna get asked this question, what are the dimensions to this? And the answer is, I have no idea. I wing my builds completely. I pull them out of thin air and I hope for the best. So what I tell my followers, especially when doing builds like this, count how many squares I'm using with the simple panels or a bookshelf or a display shelf, etc. That is gonna be kind of your guide to see how big this is dimension wise. I know that's not really helpful. I just don't plan dimensions out, but I find myself having more creativity if I don't limit myself to a specific dimension. So now we pretty much have our main base done. I'm really excited about how this is looking and I've already started on the parking lot. It's gonna be a rather large parking lot. Again, I wanted this to feel realistic. If you can't do this big of a parking lot, you can totally shrink it down. It'll work out, trust me. 
but uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that red item that I have backwards. So I'll have the materials all listed out in the video's description. The main uh, materials that is. I don't know all the names to every single item that I'm using, but I know someone's probably gonna ask me what item that was reversed. So again, I'll have that listed out in the description. It was the only thing I could find to represent the little red stone balls that Target has. I was actually super upset that the exercise ball did not come in red. I even tried the glowing moss item and this was the best item I found to represent the stone ball outside. So the inspiration for this whole layout in front actually came from three different Google images. I really loved this modern, nice version of Target. It wasn't all just this tan stone color. There was like this really nice modern white edge to it. So that drew me to this build and I just think it captured the realism pretty well. There is a few things that I want to change about this. If I do decide to recreate a Target on my island, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I have Walmart literally down my street. I shop there and my daughter is obsessed with Walmart so that store is more special to me. However, I do think Target's aesthetic is super fun. I always thought the Target dog was adorable. I actually remember being a kid and telling my mom I wanted the target dog as a pet of course she said no it never happened but till this day I still think that dog is absolutely adorable so the sidewalk that I actually used for this and the roads are by Colin Crossing and that middle sidewalk is actually by me. So again, all codes I'll have will be listed in the video's description. However, the huge sale code and the Nook sale code I actually found under criteria search under the word sale and shop. So I think it's under one of those because I sat on criteria search for hours and the target code is actually by me. I ended up actually using the AC Patterns app online and I injected the logo of Target and of course it was kind of fuzzy so I had to doctor it up a little bit. So I definitely recommend using that app if you haven't yet, it is pretty good. Now there has been times when I've tried to use that app and sometimes things just absolutely look like garbage. And I know that I like trash and garbage but that, that was absolutely awful looking. So I don't recommend doing complicated designs with this whatsoever so I was actually really shocked about Target turning out this well and of course after I injected the design onto my save I added some shading and nice textures to it I even made a couple of textured walls so I'll have those uploaded into my MA code now I'm just going to use a customized shopping cart to put a little buggy station next to the store. That's what I call these things, so bear with me. <laughs> and we're just going to frame this off with some hedges and trees. And I'm just going to keep this area pretty simple. So that little opening right there with the display shelves is actually gonna be the way we enter into our interactive build part. So if you just wanna do this exterior, your build is pretty much done. You can finish it off, add some more display shelves to fix the width part of it. But if you wanna leave it at this, that's totally fine. Now, if you want the interactive part and you're trying to fill up empty space on your island, feel free to continue watching this video. Please do remember that I am still trying to figure out where I want to add the Starbucks to this. I'm kind of tempted to expand the actual store dimensions a little bit to recreate that. But uh, what I did, but I didn't show it in this video because I hated how it turned out. I ended up making a little outside sitting area and then I used stalls and kind of like framed the edge of some display shelves and kind of like staged it like that's where the Starbucks was. And you can totally do that. I'm sure it probably looks fine to somebody else, but I'm a perfectionist and I hated how it looked. So if I'm gonna make anything Starbucks related as a fellow coffee addict like I am, I will probably just make like a 
actual Starbucks store. I'm wanting to do a series of realistic builds. So if I'm gonna do a Starbucks, I really want it to be the actual store. I'm not sure if that's gonna be interactive. Uh, I'm not gonna do a ton of interactive builds like this 24 seven because I know a lot of people don't always have space, but if the space allows it or if I'm in the mood for it, then we totally can do that. I am trying to recreate a lot of those interactive builds that we did before 2.0 dropped. So I will go through that video to see which ones I did and see how I can improve them because I know a lot of people were asking me about that so uh, as for the grocery store build I hope that this brought you some much needed inspiration even if you're not doing a target keep in mind that the main base of this will work for other stores too like for example it would work great for a Walmart we just did a Walmart design with a very similar layout or whatever local grocery store you may have in your hometown so as we start on this interior, I wanted to add this information to my video. I know that there is a lot of transitions into this uh, build. Remember, this build took me six hours to do, so I had to do a lot of transitions for this reason, to shorten the footage down, etc. If you are someone who doesn't know all the items that I'm using right now, don't worry, I've left you a link in my video's description. This link has basically every single item we got in the 2.0 update. It even has the names with those. So feel free to go check that link out, match the items that I'm using, or use even items that I forgot to put onto this build, etc. Definitely go check that out if you do not know all all these names. So honestly, if I ever recreate Target, I've learned the hard way I need to make this a lot bigger. I wanted to do a toy aisle, I wanted to do pet section, and I just didn't have the space for it. So if you are somebody who wants to get this super accurate, you're gonna have to definitely expand the backside dimensions, which is not a big deal. I mean, if you wanna fill up your space, but if you're totally fine with it being like this, then keep the interactive part layout the same. I'm gonna be basically leaving leaving this last corner of emptiness towards the uh, back. That's gonna be my clothing section. And then I think I'm just gonna do like a small aisle of toiletries, etc. So that is my plan. Since we are nearing the end of the build process, I wanted to add this information into my video before I absolutely forget. The red rug that I've been using inside of here is actually just the texture wall on the ground. I love using this as a rug, especially when my design slot space is getting low. I actually have done this on so many of my builds and I've even used them on pillows, etc. So I definitely recommend doing this if your design slot space is running low and you may be using colored textured walls in your design slots. Once I finish up this last spot, I'm gonna go ahead and transition to the finished look. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.